When a broken bone or fracture occurs, the body leaps into action to begin the healing process. When the bone breaks, it bleeds, forming a mass of blood known as a hematoma. The hematoma is rich in cells that are capable of growing new cartilage and bone. These cells set to work forming a callus to hold the bone fragments together. The callus is at first more cartilage than bone. This is known as a soft callus. The soft callus gradually begins to fill with bone, evolving into a more stable hard callus. After the hard callus is formed, the bone may not look like it did before the fracture. It may look slightly crooked. It probably has a large bony callus. Over months and even years, the bone begins to remodel based on the stresses it is exposed to. Remodeling allows the bone to take on a shape similar to its original shape. If there is too much displacement or angulation, meaning that the bone fragments are pushed too far apart or the bone is bent too much, remodeling may not be sufficient. The bone may heal crooked or may not heal at all. This is why fractures sometimes need to be reduced or set. Once the fracture is well aligned, it is important to keep it from displacing. It is also important to prevent too much movement across the fracture site so that the callus can form. And so fractures are often treated with immobilization. This can be done with casts, splints, or surgical fixation.